Tifu by trying to play my dad's didgeridoo. So my dad has had this didgeridoo in the house since he visited his sister in Australia 10 plus years ago. My parents wanted to go out for a walk, but I decided I'd eaten too much cheese and couldn't be asked. While they were out the internet went down, so I was sort of wandering around looking for something to do when I spotted the ditch. I thought to myself in all these years I've never actually tried to play it, it's more of a decoration and I barely take it in when I see it and maybe it's time. I pick it up and put it to my lips. I felt like I knew what I was doing and that it was similar to playing a trumpet and wanted to play a long loud note. I take a sharp inhale and immediately feel something hit the back of my throat. I splutter really hard and a small white globular thing comes flying out and hits the floor. At first I thought it was saliva and ignored it as I had a weird sensation in my throat and mouth. It felt like tingling to start with, but grew into more of a tickle on the inside of my cheeks, and a bit on my gums. I glance down at the white stuff on the floor, and see several baby spiders crawling out of it, and in all directions. The second I clock what's happened I feel something tickling my top lip and slap my mouth with my hand. I have a squished spider on my lip and instantly go into panic mode. I run into the bathroom and spit repeatedly into the sink to see crushed spider bodies and some severed legs, some of which are still attached to parts of the body and are trying to drag themselves away from the plug hole. I urge several times and then frantically swill my mouth out with water. I don't think my mouth will ever feel normal again. TL, doctor, thought I could play didgeridoo, inhaled a mouth full of spiders. Edit, were gold. And front page. Ta. Glad you all like slash hate my story. How do you delete someone else's post? Op PLS save the future editors. Think of the children. The coconut man spared no one. Op shouldn't either. Coconut man? Oh sweet summer child. Ah fuck I had forgotten about that fad of fucking goddamn coconuts. Remember that month when Reddit decided to fuck coconuts? Pepperidge Farm remembers. The tube was probably a portal to Australia. That's correct. It remains linked to the land. Next up, dingus, koalas and kangaroos suddenly start showing up in Op's house. The didgeridoo is about to finalize its evil plan. Jumanjiridoo. That's the movie we wanted, but would never get. Because anything that holds the image of a Jumanjidoo becomes, itself, a Jumanjidoo. Sounds more like a digeridant. Op missed out on saying who. Don't mind if I digeridoo. In his post. My greatest wish now is to have the opportunity to seriously say this. I already wasted my Christmas wish, and maybe the only wish I'll ever have, but now I'm determined to waste my next, if I get the opportunity. I've said it a few times in my life, and other people's reaction have always been disappointing. I silently screamed at my work desk for 20 seconds, oh my god. I did the same and then gagged. If this happened to me, I'd be projectile vomiting everywhere. Great way to get rid of most of the spiders you swallowed. My health teacher in high school said the same thing about unwanted children. If you are swallowing children you may be a large predator. While you are welcome to interact on Reddit, you should probably avoid face-to-face -face meetings with us. A good rule of thumb for anyone on Reddit. Don't worry maybe you'll get superpowers and become spider mouth. You will develop the ability to spit spiders from your mouth. Also webs, but mostly spiders. Release the dogs. With bees in their mouths. So when they bark they shoot bees at you. Still better than spidermouth. Souvenir from Australia, check. Horrifying experience with spiders, check. Making random strangers around the world scream and cringe, f in double check. Here's an upvote you sadistic son of a motherless goat. Jeef, would you say that he has a plethora of spiders? A what? A plethora. Well, you told me I have a plethora. And I just would like to know if you know what a plethora is. I would not like to think 
that a person would tell someone he has a plethora, and then find out that that person has no idea what it means to have a plethora. So did you redo your attempt to play it afterwards? I did you read it, it's quite fun I might try to learn it, checking it first each and every time. How can you even look at it without experiencing traumatic flashbacks? I'd never go near a musical instrument again. Op probably has some guts. Full of spiders yeah, but guts at least. In an alternate universe, Tifu by laying my eggs inside what I thought was a hollowed out log. No one played the stupid thing for like 10 generations. How was I supposed to know what the giant idiot would do when the internet went out? I lost 65 of my favorite kids because this big padoff decided to suck in air through the damn log. Edit, my dumb padoff fingers typing the wrong word. Do you really think spiders call us pads? I feel like they'd call us inside outs, since our skin is an organ and our skeletons are on the inside let me know what you think. My aunt grew up on the same street as Rolf Harris, you know, the convicted pedo. She was working as a travel agent and the company she worked for had a competition where you had to bring the most Australian thing you could to the airport in order to win a trip to Australia. Being neighbors with Rolf Harris she went to his house and politely asked him if she could borrow something for his. He let her borrow his didgeridoo. She brought it to the airport and of course many people didn't believe her that it was his, however she did still make it to Australia. And that's the story of how my aunt has held Ralph Harris's didgeridoo, she didn't get molested however. That is lucky, I thought it could have taken a turn for the worst, but your aunt survived both Australia and Ralph Harris.